Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about our very first DevOps Lab program. Let's get started. Our first program is about introduction to Maven and Gradle, overview of built automation tools, key differences between the Maven and Gradle and their installation and setup process. Here are the outcomes of our today's session. First, we will be learning about what is DevOps, followed by what are build automation tools, what is Marvin and Gradle, differences between the Marvin and Gradle, Marvin installation process and then Gradle installation. First, let us learn what is DevOps. The simple definition of DevOps could be DevOps is a way to help the developers and IT team members to work together and build and update their softwares faster and in an easy way. Now, let us understand as being a software engineer, why do we need to learn DevOps? For example, as being a software engineer, you have joined a service-based company and a client had come to your company and requested for a mobile application. And you have accepted that you are going to proceed with this project. As an initial phase, you will be collecting the requirements, what the client needs in our mobile application. And then we will be finalizing our design. And once the design is finalized, the design will be submitted for a development team to develop that mobile application. And now, in your development team, you will be not a single person who will be working on it. There will be the multiple people who will be working. Like for a mobile application, if you are working on a landing page like home screen, how it should look. The other person might be working on a profile page. Like a different people will be working at a different features. But at the end of a day, you want all the different features in a single mobile application. And this could be achieved through a DevOps. DevOps helps us to merge all these different functionalities into our one main source code. Here is the standard definition of DevOps. DevOps is a culture and the set of practices that bring the development and operation team together to automate and streamline software delivery, ensuring the faster and more reliable release. Now, let us learn what are the build automation tools. Automation build tools are the software that help the developers automate tasks like compiling the code, managing the dependencies, running the test and packaging the applications. They make the software development process faster, easier and more reliable. For example, as a software engineer, what are the tasks that we will be performing? We will be writing the code, we will be compiling it and we will be running it. But if we use the build automation tools, that tool can do our task automatically. Like it can build the code automatically, run the code automatically. So if you have made any changes in your main source code file and if you want to do all the operations automatically, in that scenario, you can use build automation tool. As an example, we have the Mar Marvin and Gradle as an example of build automation tool. What is a Marvin? A Marvin is a build automation tool. As we have seen, what is a build automation tool that will perform our task automatically? Like we do not have to manually do the task like compiling the code, running the code and testing the codes. Okay, Marvin is a build automation tool used mainly for Java projects. It helps developers manage dependencies, compile code, run tests and package applications automatically. All of these tasks could be done automatically in a Marvin. Now, let us learn what is a Gradle. Gradle is a build automation tool that is used to build, test, deploy the software effectively. It is 
commonly used for a Java, Android, and other programming language. As we have seen, Marvin and Gradle both look similar, but they are few differences between the Marvin and Gradle. Now, let us learn about it. In features, the configuration of the Marvin is dependent on the pom.xml. The meaning of configuration is like the set of rules and regulations for running your mobile application. Like not only the mobile application, any of the products, the set of rules and regulations to run or build your application. And in the Marvin, we have that set of instructions in the pom.xml file and in the gradle we have that instructions in the build.gradle file and when it comes to the performance of marvin it is slower than compared to the gradle and in the flexibility marvin is convention based and gradle is more customizable now let us look about installation of marvin to download Marvin on your system, go to the Google and type for Marvin download. You will get the first website as download Apache Marvin. Under that scroll down, you will get a binary zip archive and here click the link. Once the zip file is downloaded, come to the file explorer and then extract it and go into the bin folder in your Marvin file, copy the path. Now go to the windows and search for environmental variables. Click on environmental variables under that in system variables. We should go for the path and click on edit. Under that, select a new and then paste the path that you have copied and then click on OK and then OK and then finally OK. Now go to Windows and search for command prompt. In your CMD type MVN hyphen V and when you type this it should display the command like this apache marvin and it should display the version of marvin that you have in your system if it is displayed in this way marvin has been successfully installed in your system now for gradle installation go for the google browser and type for gradle installation under that you will find releases click on it if you scroll down you will get the version as 8.5 under that we need to install for a binary file this binary only we need to install that file after downloading this file go to the file explorer extract the zip file and then again same copy the bin path from your windows go to the environmental variables click on system environments now in the system variables click for the path and then edit now after clicking the new paste the path that you have copied now if you click on ok and then ok your setup will be finished now to check whether your gradle has been installed or not Go to the windows and search for command prompt, open cmd, type gradle space hyphen v and after that if you get the version of gradle that is installed on your system that means that the gradle has successfully installed in your system.